How good can a $20 rotary tool be? Let's find out. How's it going guys? Josh here at Tracks RC and today we are bringing you episode 2 of Tool Tuesday. In this episode, we will be showing you guys this HyperTuff 1.5 amp rotary tool. But before we start talking about the rotary tool itself, we just want to invite you guys over to check out our website. If you click the link down below in the description, it will take you to our website. And there we have reviews on all of our RC cars and other ones that we have featured on the channel. There you can also buy Tracks RC merch and learn general information about us and our channel. You can also check out the latest RC news topics that we have for you guys this week, as well as the best RC cars. And as always, please give us feedback on our website by commenting on any of the videos that we have posted on our channel. Now with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and start talking about the HyperTuff Rotary Tool. So if you're not familiar with HyperTuff, it's basically Walmart's brand of tools. And the reason why we went with the HyperTuff Rotary Tool instead of a Dremel branded Rotary Tool is because this one is a lot cheaper. And we have found that this one is perfect for our needs. The rotary tool does come in a nice plastic case with a handle on the top. So now let's open up the box and check out the rotary tool. So inside we get the rotary tool itself and a 105 piece accessory kit. So the rotary tool itself has a six foot long power cord and then it does have the adjustable speed right there. And then there is the on off switch and it does have the adjustable collet. And to adjust the collet, you want to push this button right here and then rotate the collet itself. And then to loosen the collet, you push the button again and loosen the collet. There are also some vents along the entire body of the tool just to help cool it a little bit. This rotary tool can also run up to 8,000 to 35,000 RPMs. And for only being a $20 tool, that's actually pretty impressive. As I mentioned before, this rotary tool does come with a 105 piece accessory kit. And in this accessory kit, you will find 30 cutoff wheels, 24 grinding stones, 27 sandpaper uh, cutoff wheels, and six sanding bands two drill bits, two diamond points, one wired brush, two felt wheels, one felt wheel mandrel, one sanding and cutting mandrel, one sanding drum, three collet sizes, and those sizes are 1 8 inch, 3 seconds, and 1 16 inch. In this box, you will also find one wrench, one whetstone, and two replacement carbon brushes. So that was a lot guys, but we have only found that some of these items work best for RC applications. And those items would be the cutoff wheels, the sanding and cutting mandrel, as well as the wrench, the sanding disc, and the collet sizes, as well as the sanding drum and the sanding bands, and the diamond points, the grinding stones, and the two drill bits. However, most of the time we usually use the cutoff wheels and the sanding drum. So now we're just going to demonstrate how to use the cutoff wheels and the sanding drum. So to start off, we'll be demonstrating with the cutoff wheel. So when you open up the accessory kit for the first time, you will notice that the cutoff wheel is separated from the mandrel. So what we need to do is grab the mandrel itself and unscrew this screw right here using the wrench. And once the screw is off, you could set the mandrel off to the side, and then you want to pull off one of the little red washers. Next, we are going to grab the cutoff wheel, slide it onto the screw, and then grab the red washer that we just took off, slide that on, and then reinstall the mandrel. And once you install the cutoff wheel onto the mandrel, it should look like this. Next, we are going to grab the rotary tool itself. Make sure that the collet's loose on it. And then we want to push the mandrel into the collet, just like that. 
and then we want to hold down this button and tighten the collet. And then you can do it up the rest of the way with the provided wrench. Then you want to make sure that the mandrel is secured in the collet, and if it is, then we can go ahead and plug the power cord into a wall outlet. And before you power this rotary tool on for the first time, you want to make sure that it is set at 1 so that you get comfortable with the speed. And then, I cannot stress this part enough, make sure you are wearing safety glasses to protect your eyes from flying debris. Then you want to make sure that you have a firm grip on the tool and then power it on. And then we're just going to cut this plastic. And once you cut it, you can break off all of the garbage and leftover stuff that is left on it. And then now we are going to use the sanding block to smooth it all out. So first we're just going to unplug the tool from the wall outlet. And then we are going to press the button for the collet, grab our wrench, loosen it, and then remove the cutting mandrel. Now we are going to grab the sanding block and the sanding band. And then we're going to slide the sanding band over the sanding block. And once it is in place, it should look like this. Now we are going to do the exact same steps that we did to install the cutoff wheel and mandrel to the collet. Now that the sanding block is attached to the collet, we can plug the power cord into a wall outlet. Again, you want to make sure that you have a firm grip on the tool. And then you want to turn it on and start sanding. And once you're done sanding, you can take off any imperfections. Then unplug the power cord and remove the sanding block. So yeah, we just cut this piece of plastic for no reason other than to show you guys how to use the HyperTough rotary tool. But how can we actually use this tool as hobbyists? Well, we actually had to use this rotary tool when we got a new body for our Traxxas TRX4 support. And that's because the front portion of the inner fenders were hanging below the body. As you can see here, there is a cut line where we trimmed the fender. So like we just showed, you can use this rotary tool to trim things that do not fit right on your RC car. We will be sure to put a link to this product down below in the description box so you guys can check it out for yourself. And that's all that we have planned for this video. We hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time on Tracks RC.